governor's seat is open this year here in Montana, and the race to succeed Democrat Steve Bullock is a rematch of sorts. The man Bullock defeated in 2016, Republican Greg Gianforte, is taking on Bullock's lieutenant governor, Democrat Mike Cooney. MTN's Mike Dennison shows us how the race is shaping up. It's no secret what Congressman Greg Gianforte will emphasize during his second run for the governor's office. His background in business and a business-friendly approach to running the government. I am running solely to create more good-paying jobs for Montana. As I talk to small business, we need a top-to-bottom regulatory review because there's too much friction for small business. Gianforte co-founded a software development firm in Bozeman in the mid-1990s that grew into an international company and made him one of the wealthiest people in Montana when it was sold to Oracle Corporation in 2012. His campaign also is calling Cooney a career politician and government bureaucrat who, as they put it, has never had a real job. Cooney says he doubts that line of attack will resonate with Montana voters. I think people from New Jersey have a funny way of saying thank you for your public service. Montanans are going to look, look at that and, and, and basically say that's just not true. Cooney has worked for government much of his life. As Montana's Secretary of State for 12 years, as an aide to former U.S. Senator Max Baucus, and an administrator in the State Department of Labor. The New Jersey reference indicates that Cooney plans a campaign similar to what he and Bullock ran against Gianforte in 2016. Reminding voters that Gianforte moved here from New Jersey more than 25 years ago and telling them Gianforte just wants to slash government services, including health care, and undermine public education. That also includes the suggestion that the Bozeman multimillionaire is going to quote unquote buy the race. I can't write myself a million dollar check or a two million dollar check or a five million dollar check. I can't do that. Plus we'll be going out having conversations with Montanans and listening to what they have to say. They're not willing to put the, this next election up on the auction block and sell it to the highest bidder. Gianforte has put 1.5 million dollars of his own money into the campaign so far. He declined to say how much more he might spend. But sources tell MTN News he's told them he's prepared to spend a few million more. Gianforte says he'll unveil a business plan for the state in late July and that he'd like to freeze state spending and, if possible, reduce state income and property taxes. He also wants to take on a tough problem facing Montana, drug addiction and abuse, which he says is the source of much crime and child neglect. And I think we need to focus more on rehabilitation instead of incarceration. Uh, we have treatment courts in many of our counties, and yet uh, some of them don't have them. And they work so much better than a jail cell for nonviolent uh, drug addicts. Cooney has plans to give Montanans access to cheaper prescription drugs by importing them from Canada. But mostly Cooney is saying he'll be a steady hand who bolsters public education and improves access to affordable health care and maintains a solidly balanced state budget. People in Montana have trusted me to be in public office. They've elected me a number of times to serve, um, and I've stepped up each and every time. Uh, and, and I think that's in, you know, prepared me very well to take this state um, in, in a very positive direction. Gianforte says he wants to scrutinize government with an eye toward making it more efficient and responsive to business. We're gonna look to have to prioritize maintaining essential services uh, while also finding inefficiencies in waste so we can balance the budget without raising taxes on Montanans. Two very different men, two very different approaches to governing. We'll be telling you more about both of them as the summer and fall unfolds. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. All right, thanks, Mike.